This child's desire for the impossible toy seen in the movie, seen in my head, and wanting to make it flesh, make it something that I had and I held and that made my day better because it existed, that want of those things and the teaching myself how to make things in order to have those things is the engine of everything that I have achieved in my whole life up till now. It doesn't matter what you make and it doesn't matter why. The importance is that you are making something. When you make something, the world becomes a little more parsable. It becomes a little more understandable to you. You become part of a conversation. And when you make things that you can't not make, that conversation goes really deep. And you meet other people who are making the same things they can't not make. And these people become your friends and your confidence and your teachers and your mentors. I truly believe that. I also believe when you're making, when you're making the thing that you go through, the process, the problem solving, the shaping your future with your hands, it's an inherently good and positive conversation. It makes you into a critical thinker. Everything that I've ever learned making things has universally applied to everything else that I do. Science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Art is where it begins. Art is the original mover. So I say make. But more than that, make what you want. It starts with what you want to have. When you have a final goal, whatever that goal is, you are more likely to finish. You're more likely to get through that point in every project when the thing you're building is kicking your butt and making you really mad because you're failing. That final goal will carry you past that. I have this mechanism and I know it after all these years of making things. Somewhere around 70% in, working on any given difficult project I'm working on, I lose steam. I get frustrated with myself. I wonder what the hell that I'm thinking. I, I pr clearly don't know what I'm doing and I'm, I'm going too fast or I'm going too slow or I'm not going elegant enough. But I know that this occurs to me every time. So I know that I can push past that. It's different for everybody because everybody is different. What unites us is that we are creatures of creation. And we always have been. And then maybe then I'll achieve the end of this exercise. But really, if we're all going to be honest with ourselves, I have to admit that achieving the end of the exercise was never the point of the exercise to begin with, was it? <laughs>